my name's Kevin. I'm a consultant gynaecologist and I work at the Princess Margaret Hospital in Windsor and the Cobham NHS Hospital in Surrey. My wife and I have both worked in the NHS for over 40 years. On behalf of all the NHS staff and the key workers, like the porters, the cleaning staff, catering staff, delivery men, and all the other heroes of the NHS, I just want to say a very special thank you to all the fantastic musicians for giving up their time, their talent and their energy in order to pay tribute to the frontline people who are quite literally putting their own lives at risk to help the public in these very difficult times. We hope you enjoyed the music which these great guys have put together and hope it might bring some joy to everyone at this difficult time. Please donate whatever you can, it'll be greatly appreciated. And remember, stay safe, look after yourself and your loved ones. Take care. So, tell me more about how Drums in 2020 works. Well, I mean, the idea of, uh, you know, because obviously I did the 24 hour um, dr um, drumming there. And, um, but when it came on, you know, when it came on to the idea, when we got the idea of doing the, the relay, uh, I, I thought, well, could I ask all these guys to do uh, 12 hours and, I mean, 24 hours, but um, that was a big ask. However, um, what was cool is like, you know, cutting it off and asking them to do 12, which is the same as what the NHS um, doctors and nurses do, doing on that shift. We thought that would be a, quite a significant way to sort of like split, split it down the middle and, uh, and run alongside the NHS workers in that way, which I thought was kind of like, you know, really cool. And, and uh, they, are, they all loved it actually, to the point where um, as we finished the, the, the drumathon on the Sunday, and we had a big Skype meeting with everybody and uh, they're all saying, gosh, we, we'd love to do this again. Can we make this a yearly event? And obviously we can't say no because it, it was, uh, when you're part of this and the energy that's running through this, right, is, is uh, I can't explain to you, it is unbelievable. I mean, the drummers didn't want it to end. Everybody wanted, to, you know, wanted to all carry on. But obviously we had to, um, we had, sadly, we had to call up, bring it to the, the 10 days. We had other drummers coming, wanting to be a part of the whole situation as well. So, you know, to prolong the time. So maybe, you know, we can try and do the Guinness Book of Record or we'll do something of the same time next year and see how we do. Obviously, it will be all donations going straight to the NHS as well. But, you know, as you can't forget the fabulous work that they're doing for all of us. You know, and I just wanted to say, um, you know, the one of the main thing behind doing this, this whole situation is that um, just before the lockdown, I, I, I was, uh, they, I was told that I had cancer in the prostate, and then to be told after having a biopsy that I had uh, that I had not got it once they've, you know. Uh, done all the tests with the biopsy, which was kind of a great relief. I can't tell you how that felt. And also, my wife, who had breast cancer as well, my mother, who's had breast cancer and then lymphoma as well. So with all that encompass, right, you know, that was like the main driver of why we wanted to kind of like do this whole situation and uh, support the NHS because, look, look at what they've done for us. I, I haven't got... I haven't got uh, prostate cancer my wife is here and my mother's here my mother's she's 85 so you know just imagine if we didn't have that nhs what would you do imagine if you lived in another country that didn't have the nhs what would you do so it's important that we all chip in and donate towards keeping our nhs because it's really valuable it's only when something's missing or we've been taken away you realize how important it is and we don't really want to go there just want to keep this going so uh, please continue donating save our nhs save and show gratitude to all our doctors and all the workers uh that's doing all this frontline work saving all our lives so god bless you all thank you hi i'm Owen kennedy and i'm leading a team of amazing drummers 
and we're drumming for the NHS to raise as much funds as we can. So please donate.
Love. In and out of love
So it's nice to watch someone else suffer. Oh. <laughs> it's great, huh? You did brilliantly. Hi, my name is Sean Kennedy and I'm donating four items for the Drumathon auction. Firstly, my drumsticks, which have served me really well as I drum for 24 hours day and night. To me, they've become rock legends now. They are rock, lockdown, lockdown, rockdown drumsticks. And they first started the Drumathon relay as well. I'm also donating the Greatest Hits Live album, 10 uh, DVDs of World War II documentaries which I made and also the You Can Be DJ International remix. So I hope whoever buys or lucky enough to get these or donate well will be really amazingly happy with what they've uh, actually got. So please donate high and good luck to you. Bye now.
searching for breath, searching for the touch of life. No words are spoken, the only sound we hear is body talk, body talk, body talk, body talk. Okay, so Errol, tell me about Drumathon 2020 and how this whole project came about. Well, I mean, it all started really um, on our balcony on the, you know, Thursday night when everybody goes out to uh, chair on the, our NHS and uh, my wife sort of like uh, said, oh, come, you know, I've Let's grab a couple of bins and uh, just have a little smash. And uh, so it just kicked off from there. And then I said, oh, gosh, I've got my snare drum. Let me go upstairs and get that. So I popped upstairs, got my snare drum, started smash away at it. And, uh, well, the neighbours came out and they all started to chair. And uh, it kind of just started from there. And uh, we um, talked about it afterwards and said, well, what could we do? What else could we do? So uh, we came out with the 24-hour uh, drumathon and uh, where I, you know, drummed for 24 hours on my practice kit. Um, and we raised quite a substantial amount of money um, for the NHS. And then we had another thought and said, what else could we do? So, um, you know, we came up with the idea of doing a 24, well, a drumathon, a relay, where we'd invite lots of other drummers on board. And we started just with a couple of of drummers that friends that we thought let's give them a call and uh we didn't know how far this would go so before you know it we had 21 drummers and we were there drumming for 12 hour periods and um the whole thing really just stemmed from there we had lots of friends that helped us to set up the whole thing and um you know the drummers 
Majority of the drummers were drumming from their home. They had little home studios, they could do that. We had uh, other friends like uh, Finn and David at All Media who had a studio at the back of their house um, who would allow us to do the daytime uh, drumming from there. And the nighttime drummer was another friend of mine who lived in Grays, not too far from Dartford, and they were doing the night time. And this is specifically for drummers who didn't have a studio. So I had people like uh, Mel Gaynor, you had um, Alex from the Kooks, you had, uh, uh, you know, just a, a wide amount of drummers. You had uh, Jose um, and Tim, who were drumming from the uh, night time studio. And then eventually we had to turn that into daytime as well. But all total, we did 250 hours worth of drumming and uh, raised over 30,000 plus and still rising. What was particular to the lockdown situation? What made it challenging for you to organise these 12-hour sessions? Well, it's really the technology. Uh, that was really the big challenge in getting all the cameras setting up, getting all the sound so we had, you know... For instance, individual drummers had problems where they they had the GoPro but didn't have the cam link uh, to go inside the computer to sort of like then generate the picture for streaming. And then you also had the problem of how do you get the sound? So eventually we sort of like overcome all these problems because some of the drummers were actually doing live streaming from their work at home. You know, i.e. somebody ring up and say, well, can you can you do a drum track? And they were able to record it from home and then stream it back. So those guys were cool. It's the other guys that didn't have that. There was a problem. And we're talking all the way from, all the way going from Oxford to Scotland, down to Devon. And it was, you know, so it was a lot of running around, organising all these different situations and then making sure that we had, the drum kits were sounding really good. So I'd run across to like uh, Basie Stoke with my, with my, with my drum kit, my Gretsch, so that the uh, elite drummers like Mel Gain and Vince and Alex and, and uh, Norm would, would have a really nice kit to play. Well, on my way to uh, Basingstoke, and I had a puncher and I was sort of like sat for four hours waiting for help. And uh, you can imagine I was feeling very frustrated, thinking, gosh, the next day I've got to go all the way now over to Dartford, Grace to get the same thing set up as well, you know. But hey, it was good fun and um, we got the job done.